few minutes, you two are going to pledge your commitment to each other and only each other for the rest of your lives. This is one of the greatest risks you will ever take. Micah, you are about to give your life away. You are volunteering for the toughest assignment a man will ever be given, to offer your heart and your strength to faith time and time and time again for the rest of your life. And I will not lie to you, nothing will be harder and nothing will be richer. It can be done and it's worth it. Discovering your strength and your sacrifice can help faith become the woman she was meant to be, that your love over her can free her heart and release her beauty. That is what whatever it costs you. And by the grace of God, you can do this. You have what it takes. Faith, you have a responsibility in this as well. You've dreamed of this day for a really long time, and now you also are about to give your life away. But do not be deceived. Nothing requires more courage for a woman to truly offer her heart to her husband time and time and time again. But I say to you, as I said to Micah, it can be done and it's worth it. Discovering your sacrifice, your love can help Micah become the man he was meant to be, that somehow your beauty can free his heart. I think that's worth whatever it costs you. And by the grace of God, you can do it. You have what it takes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> Come here. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Have a special know. time. Mm-hmm. You yep. ready? Yeah. Too late now, huh? <laughs> Don't turn him back now. <laughs> Don't turn him back now. <laughs> I don't know, can you? I can. You look so good. You look beautiful. You're welcome. You ready for all this? Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Good. You okay? Mm-hmm. Love you too. So, so much. We're getting married. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? Nervous. Just excited. Mm-hmm. You excited? Nervous at all? Sure. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Why can't I love you too? You are you walking down the aisle? I am. I've prepared this for my whole life. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? So Micah, (laughs) faith has really never been Jeannie and mine. She's always been the Lord's. All I ask is that you love her and cherish her, just like the Lord does. I will. Walk slow, I promise. Okay. I, Micah James Martin, take you, Faith Nicole Answer, to be my wife before God, who brought us together, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. And with all that I am, I commit myself to you until death parts us. I, Faith Nicole Answer, take you, Micah James Martin, to be my husband before God, who brought us here to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. And with all that I am, I commit myself to you until death parts us. I put this ring on your finger as a sign of of the promises we've made this day. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I put this ring on your finger as the sign of the promises that we've made this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's two separate bottles. 
and they symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you will ever be and have been as individuals. They represent your lives before today, though. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your lives be joined together in full unity. two together. Most importantly, thank you for the lives that they're leading um, individually for you, Lord, and now that they're going to be joined together, they'll just be even stronger for you. I pray that they uh, stay in the word and they stay uh, committed to you and committed to each other and uh, just bless them for, for the commitments that they've made and um, for their future. Micah and Faith, in God's presence and before these witnesses, you have made your promise to each other to be faithful. And as much as you've pledged your love to one another, I now declare you to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no person separate. Micah. <laughs> Kiss her, dude. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Micah Martin. The idea of happily ever after is a lovely ambition. Everybody wants it. And the people in this room, your friends and your family, the people that love you most, the people that are figuratively and literally behind you right now, have gathered to say, we believe you too can have happily ever after. There's a specific lie that is going to bombard both of you in subtle and not so subtle ways. The lie to you, Micah, will sound something like this. I'm not man enough for this. The lie to you, Faith, will sound something like this. I'm not good enough for him. So I have two words for you today. The two words are, you are. Faith, you are good enough for him. 
not because of anything you've done, but because of what Jesus has done in you and what he's going to do through you. You are enough. Micah, you are man enough for this, not because of your own strength, but because Christ's strength is made perfect in your weakness. You are because he is. I know I'm not related and you probably haven't seen me ever. Uh, my name is Aaron Sosong. Uh, I am obviously the best man, uh, Micah's best friend, uh, as he is mine. We met back in 2019, uh, deployed over in Korea together. We kind of bonded over uh, a lot of tabletop games, Magic the Gathering, you yeah, know, we're nerds, yeah, you get over it. We also are big car guys, so we just kind of naturally kind of clicked. Without further ado, Mrs. Mrs. Martin, congratulations you guys, thank you everybody. My name is Erica Whitmore, and I am Faith's maid of honor. Oh. <laughs> Our years of friendship have been filled with so much love, support, a lot of laughter, and excessive amounts of Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so Faith, whether we have had a very tough time, or need, had a much needed conversation, or just a lighthearted moment too, <laughs> you've always, <clears throat> you always find the best time to say a sweet little phrase that I love so much, and that is, I'm here for it. <laughs> and you always have been, and I know you always will be. Micah, I know you're well aware of just how lucky you are to get to hear that phrase for the rest of your life. <laughs> Thank you for loving my sweet friend so well. <sighs> Woo, guys, I love this girl so much. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> okay. <laughs> She wants people around her um, to feel as if they are seen, heard, and most importantly, loved by Jesus. Um, I know this is why she loves the way that she does. Jesus has been the cornerstone that you've individually built your lives on, and I know that you'll do so together. There's no better way to build a marriage on that than the Lord who always has provided for you. So with that, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is finished, but to Mr. and Mrs. Michael Martin. <laughs>